forest and the spiritual blessing I'm most grateful for in this season is you, the church. I was 18 when I first entered the doors of Bidwell Presbyterian Church and since then this church and its people have been an extraordinary blessing to me. I come by my love of the church honestly. Although my immediate family only attended church a few times a year, my Grandma Grace rarely missed a worship service, Bible study, or any event at her little community church in La Marica. Even in her later years, when she couldn't drive herself, she would hitch a ride with anyone who would take her. One evening, she wrote my uncle into driving her to a Bible study, which turned out to be a men's Bible study, but she just wanted to make sure that they were all set up and had what they needed. While I certainly can't claim her level of consistency in my church attendance, I have grown to understand what she loved so much about her church family. You all have taught me and challenged me to grow in my faith. You've inspired me with your love and care for one another and for the world. Some of my greatest mentors and my dearest friends have come from this church and not insignificantly, you have given me a deep sense of belonging. I've left Chico a couple times since college, but this church is one of the things that keeps drawing me back. Some of you I know well and others not at all, but when we stand together and worship on Sunday mornings, the Holy Spirit becomes more real and more tangible to me through your worship than when I try to go in on my own. As Paul says in Romans 1.12, when we get together, I want to encourage you in your faith, but I also want to be encouraged by yours. In Romans 12.4-5, Paul writes, just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. We belong to each other. So thank you, Bidwell Presbyterian Church, for being my church home for 28 years. And I thank God for each and every one of you.